As a motion designer, it's always good to have some tricks up your sleeve. And what is better than knowing five simple animations with amazing results? Nothing. So let's learn them. And oh yeah, you'll find the link to the project file in the description down below. For the five animations, we're also gonna use the animate layer functions. It stores a bunch of effects where you probably never heard of. For our first animation, I have a simple text layer. When I select the layer and navigate to its properties, you can see this animate drop down on the right side. This is the tool we will be using today. And to start easy, let's use the opacity function. Immediately, we get a new property called animator one. It contains a range selector with a start and end property and also a new and extra opacity property. With this animator, I can now make my text appear letter per letter. The only thing I need to do is set the opacity to zero, the start to 100, and the end again to zero. Now my text is gone. But if I animate the end from zero to 100 over time, my text letters appear letter per letter, like I intended. And now you can play around with, for example, an extra text layer with only outlines and offset the layers, giving this simple but cool animation. Effect number two. Again, I have a simple text layer. Let's make it more interesting by adding the position animator. First things first, with the new position property, I will lower my text to something I like. Then under the advanced tab, I adjust the shape from square to ramp up. This instantly makes my text slanting. Next, I set the offset property to minus 100 and then animate it to plus 100, making our text do this cool wavy upward motion. And to really finish off this effect, let's add an opacity animator like the previous effect, making the letters appear from nothing. Already two cool text animations. Now let's switch it up by making this cool background. I can simply do that by using one line. With my trusted pen tool, I draw a line from top to bottom. Then under the animate tab, I look for the repeater option. Now I only need to increase the copies and boom, I got a bunch of lines. However, it's not really cool. So I added the turbulent displace effect to it, played around with the settings, animated the evolution and voila, a cool abstract background. With only one Online. Animation number four. We all seen these animations where letters are being written in. Let's make those. Again, I have a simple text layer and I want every letter written separately. So first I'll be using a plugin called Decompose. It's free for personal use and paying if you want to use it commercially. Link in description below. This plugin lets me separate each letter perfectly without hassle. I'm doing this because I want to track mat every letter on its own. Meaning I will draw a line with my pen tool resembling the letter. Then with the track mat pick whip tool of my letter layer, I'll parent it to the new line layer. Nothing really happened because I still need to add my animator. I select my line layer and add the trim pads effect to it. And the only thing I need to do now is animate the end property from 0 to 100 and voila, my line is animated and my letter appears to be written. Of course, do this for every letter you have. Now for the last simple animation, I want to blow up my text like a balloon. Again, I got a simple text layer and before anything, I right click on it and go to create. Then I choose create shape from text. This will make a new layer where every letter is a shape. I select this new layer and go to the animate drop down. Here I choose offset paths. And actually the only thing I need to do is increase the amount to blow up my letters. Of course you can animate this to make it more playful. But what really sells the effect is the layer style I added called bevel and emboss. This gives a feeling of depth and 3D, making it more balloon like. Again, an easy and fun animation. If you want to learn more about layer styles, definitely check out the video here on my left. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.